channel Toy and Scoop. My name is Rosie and I'm Clara. And today we have something so easy. Like, oh my god, you guys have no idea. So easy, but at the same time, super delicious and super, super tasty. Right, and also it's kind of um, health kind of. It's, it's healthy. It's a healthy place. So this will be like our first maybe healthy place. What do you mean? What do you mean how first? Our place are healthy, but this one is gonna have the vegetables yeah. and the, like the fruits and like, you know that tomato is a fruit? Tomato is a fruit for those of us that know. Tomato and avocado is a fruit too. So everything that has a C is fruit. So you learn something. Like I'm late. telling you, she's definitely doing her research. So today what we're gonna do, what is it that we're gonna do today, sister? We're gonna make bruschettas. Which are another word are bruschettas. Or bruschetta. Or bruschettas. Bruschetta. 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 We need like Italian, our Italian friends. friends. Yes, we need yeah. our Italian friends to like correct us or like you know. But we're doing our best here, so let's go through the ingredients. Mozzarella, fresh mozzarella. We wanted to do fresh because we're not cooking anything here. We're just gonna heat up the bread, but then everything else to is gonna be it. to toast the bread. But then everything else will be raw. fresh mm -hmm. and raw. So here we have mozzarella, olives. Olive oil, olive oil and sardines. sardines. Then here we have our avocado, tomato, red onion, green pepper, and our bread. Last but not least, you will ask me for the recipe for all them, almost for all them. You will need black pepper, balsamic vinegar, salt. And I'm pretty sure I said pesto, but in case I didn't, you want any pesto. What I do for you guys today is gonna be three types of bruschetta. Three? Yeah, we decided to do three, so let's vary. The one that you most like, the one that cut your eyes the most is the one that you should make. So that's why we decided to do three instead of one. So, which one is the first one? Sister? So, the first one will be tomato and avocado. And the second one? The second one will be tomato and mozzarella. And the third one, it will be tomato and sardina. Sardina. I don't know how to say that in English, but I think sardine. it's sardines. Sardines. Most people they use anchovies, right? But we we decided not to do it. We decided to do to like something that we, we can control the flavor. Cause sometimes that the, the the anchovies could be a little salty, but then the sardines they are a little sweeter, and then they don't have a lot of salt. So that's why we prefer the sardina. And that's something we grew up with. To eating right, but if you would like to try this recipe with um, anchovies, you can definitely do that. Yes. That will be uh, your um, your special touch. Right, that will be your touch to it, your change or anything. Like it's up to you what you like. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna start slicing the bruschetta bread, and also I'm gonna start cutting my vegetables and fruits. that we're gonna start crying, crying, crying because of the onion. So as you can see, my sister, she already um, sliced into little cubes of green pepper and the tomato. And now I'm gonna, I'm gonna be far from her and I'm gonna push her away because I'm already crying. Like, <laughs> yeah, the red onion are the worst. worst. Oh my God. The red onion is worse than the, uh, than the white onion. And as you can see here, while my sister is cutting that onion, that we already, which we includes you guys and me, I already um, sliced the, the bruschetta bread, bruschetta, the bruschetta bread. And after my finish is finished, after my sister is finished with her onion, my English sometimes, um, we're gonna take it back to the stove and we're gonna toast our bread. already chopped her onions as you can see beautiful colors I think this is the, the Italian flag no Clara do <laughs> don't start <laughs> don't start saying I think this is the colors of the Italian flag 
Red? Oh no, the Mexican. They have some similarities. Oh no. my god, my eyes are red. We, we're gonna come back. Let, let's cry first. Oh, yeah, like cheap. my eyes are like... As you can see, I'm literally crying because yeah. of these onions. Sorry to my Italian or Mexican people in case we might... Sit there! I think they, I think they have some tomato. No, not some tomato. Some bread on their, on their flag. I'm pretty sure they do have bread. They do have white. white. And I think green. green but yeah. not purple. I don't know what you call well, it's not a it's not a purple onion, it's a red onion. So to be honest, let's 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 talk. Why they call a purple onion red onion? Like can somebody please tell us and, and, and educate us? us? Right. In the meantime I'm gonna grab my phone and I'm gonna search the color of the Italian flag. I'm pretty sure it has green green. It it does. It has green, it has red, but um I don't know. <laughs> you shouldn't even mention this Italian flag. Well, why not? Bruschetta? I come in Bruschetta from Italia. Why not? It's okay. So let's say this. Oh my god! It's it's the, it's the, I, I'm pretty sure it has red, green, and I think white. She's right, and I'm right too. We only missing that white part, which he, which bring it a mozzarella. There you go, Italian friend, right there. <laughs> Who can tell me that I'm wrong? Okay, so let's now let's wash our hands. Okay, be so right back. Bye. Let's go. So what we're it. gonna do? We're gonna um, my sister, if you wanna do this, we're gonna put tomato in the three container because the three recipe have tomato in okay, it. Okay, yeah, so start do um, doing the tomatoes. In the meantime, I can be cutting your avocado. avocado oh my god avocado is so it goes good. with everything like avocado, avocado is, is like the best touch. it's a fruit it's a vegetable it's like you can they no. even have avocado margarita like margarita out of avocado okay. if they i went to a to a mexican um restaurant with my friends and we saw in the menu where it says avocado margarita i don't know how they did it we didn't try it but next time that i'm going to try it even as i can i yeah, would definitely go okay so, as you guys can see i already cut my avocado into chunks and then we just gotta put it into um, one of the container with the tomatoes and while she's doing that, I'm gonna start slicing, not slicing, cutting my mozzarella in Sorry about my dark. We already prepared everything. Um, so here we do have the sardinas, the red onion, tomato, and pepper. Then here we do have the tomato, black olive, green olive, and mozzarella. And then here we do have the tomato, the avocado, and we put a little bit of red of the red onion so you can have the crunchiness of the red onion and the flavor too. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our bruschetta bread and we're gonna go to the back and toast it. Went ahead and I already add my olive oil to my hot pan and this is what you want it, the pan to be. You want it to be hot and then you're gonna add our, all your bread. bread is being toasted in the back we're gonna start seasoning our um, toppings so in here we have olive oil this is the good quality we just told I'm um, not told we just took my grandma's olive, olive oil. oil yes she's she was gonna take it to the Dominican Republic yeah, she and we stole a little bit because it's, it's one of the best olive oil so, so that's why like this is gonna take so if you decide to make this recipe please Try to use a good olive oil because if good. not, it's not gonna taste the same. A good Italian olive oil. 
So now I'm just gonna add one spoon, one tiny spoon of olive oil to all of them. Two or three. I'm gonna add my salt. Put it in my hand. So like you can control of salt. you guys can see our bread bruschetta bread bruschetta is toasted so we are just gonna add our topping ideal this is so you know guys that me and my sister we were talking like oh my god but we didn't have enough bread like, because I want we want more bread yeah we're gonna eat a little bit more of this for sure so I think the supermarket is still open <laughs> so we might gonna run there too yeah then. we might So now let me make it pretty. Let me make it cute because you eat first with your eyes and then through your nose. And then lastly, remove this so you guys can take closest view to our three ingredients. Prochetta, thank you so much for all the support that we've been receiving lately. Um, this is something that we have never expected. Maybe some people will be like, we don't have a lot of subscribers. But let me tell you something. The one, the one that we have make amazing. It makes amazing. A hundred subscribers, a hundred and fifty-six. It's amazing. It's a hundred and fifty-six people that decided to follow us and to, to watch us, support us. us. So that means a lot. Like, thank you. I could. The only way that I could imagine this is what if I put a hundred and fifty-four people in my house? Fifty-six. Like, fifty-six. But. It's a lot of people. It's a lot of people. We are so grateful. Thank you so much. Hopefully you guys can make this simple, very super simple recipe, but at the same time, super, super, super delicious. So, thank you so much for watching. And if you guys want to see more, don't forget to um, turn on the notification button. So every time we post a new video, you will be our VIP members. VIP. VIP. VIP member. VIP member. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much.